بذكر عميق السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Brothers and sisters, there's a very important hadith of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم where he said من تزوج فقد استكمل نصف إيمانه فليتق الله في النصف الباقي Whoever marries, indeed he has completed half of his faith, half of his iman فليتق الله في النصف الباقي and therefore he only needs to fear Allah in the remaining half Alhamdulillah, we as Muslims, we have many issues and many issues relating to our personal life and one of the very important areas of our personal life is marriage and divorce. We have many issues. How many times have you wondered and you thought about picking up the phone and calling a scholar and asking him a question about something relating to marriage? Maybe emailing a scholar. How many questions that we have all the time on our, in our minds? How many times we've want to ask a scholar about the correct method of istikhara. How do you do istikhara in terms of marriage? What are the basic integrals of marriage? How is a marriage contract concluded? Is a marriage permissible on the phone? Can you do a marriage over the internet, over the email? Maybe you have a sister who's in America and you're in England uh, and you want to get married to her over the phone, or over the email, or over the MSN. Is that permissible? How many times people want to know about secret marriages? Your parents, I mean, this is a big problem that we have. Your parents are forcing you to marry someone else. You don't want to marry that person, that individual. You have your own uh, individual person that you want to marry. You, you have a, your own interests in mind. Are secret marriages allowed? Can you marry without the permission of a guardian, a wali? How do you select a suitable spouse? If you're not married, the hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Tunkahul mar'atu li arba'in. A woman, and even a man, is married for four reasons, and the primary reason is religion, but does that religion mean that you only base it on a person's external application of Islam? Someone who's wearing the niqab and hijab, is that only a criteria for being a religious individual, or just dressing like a Muslim externally, is that the only criteria? Or does it go much, for, much more beyond, beyond that? There are also rules about who you cannot marry. In Islam, there is a list of people, which are mentioned in the Quran and in the Hadith, certain people with whom marriage is not permissible. How many times have we wanted to know about the correct method of istikhara in Islam? Do we do istikhara ourselves? Do we do it for three nights, seven nights? Do, do we ask someone else to do it for us? Do you have to see a dream? What does that dream mean? How many times have we had that question and we've wanted answers? That this, uh, the prayer of istikhara, which is called the prayer of seeking guidance. Um, there are many rules relating to engagement. Between engagement and nikah, marriage, what is permissible and permitted in Islam, what is not permissible? What does Islam have to say about love before marriage and dating before marriage? Uh, we have these concerns in our minds. So, keeping all of this in mind, Alhamdulillah, we are very pleased to announce that there's a very important, intensive two-day course coming to the United Kingdom uh, in the city of Birmingham, two-day intensive course titled Journey to Half Your Deen, inshallah. This course will focus on the fiqh and the spirit of marriage and all of the things that I discussed and much more than that as well. Inshallah, it's organized by Asufa Institute uh, from Birmingham. Uh, inshallah, it will be held at Aston University. As I said, two-day intensive course on the 9th and 10th of July 2011. So I really ask you that and I urge you that you, whether you're married or you're not married, whether you're seeking a spouse, you're looking to get married, and even if you are married, there are many things to learn after marriage as well, inshallah. Register for this course and I hope to see all of you there, inshallah. Bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Remember to register and to join me, inshallah, for this amazing, unique, two-day intensive course, Journey to Half Your Deen. 
held at Aston University, Birmingham, on the 9th and 10th of July, 2011. Jazakallahu khair, barakallahu fikum, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.